So this session we'll be talking about the saprophytic protista member, those are slime molds. Now I already told you that slime molds, they behave like fungus, they are fungus like protista members. Why? Because in fungus in their life cycle, there is something coming which is called fruiting body and even slime molds, they have got the presentation like fruiting bodies. That is what I'll tell you, how it is forming the fruiting body. Now when you talk about slime molds, I've told you because they are saprophytes, so they are consuming the dead decaying material. The dead decaying material can be decaying twigs, can be any other dead particular particle. So they are decomposing those particular particles, they are consuming that dead decaying material which is the feature of slime mold. So they are saprophytic in nature. The very time you are talking about suitable conditions, so in suitable conditions the slime molds behave like plasmodium body. Now what is plasmodium body? In the suitable condition, the plasmodium body is something like that where you don't have cell wall. The cell wall is not present in plasmodium body. Now what happens, this is the normal conditions of slime mold. Now what happens during unfavorable condition, let's suppose this particular fruit, what you call plasmodium body it's facing some unfavorable conditions. So in unfavorable conditions, this particular plasmodium body will be forming a shape like this, which is nothing but the fruiting body. And fruiting body is present in the life cycle of fungus. That is what they are called fungus-like protists. Now what happens in fruiting body during unfavorable condition, the fruiting body will be forming a lot of spores. And due to air currents and all, the fruiting body burst and these spores are released. The spores will be released from this particular fruiting body. And these spores will have the cell wall and the cell wall if it is present here around the spores will be made up of cellulose. So you see what is happening, the fluid plasmodium body, it is forming the fruiting body under unfavorable conditions which bears spore and spores have got the cellulosic wall. Now if you can see this plasmodium situation. There was no cell wall. You see spore situation, there are cell wall and this fruiting body is also there. When you look at this stage, they behave like animal. When you look at this stage, they behave like plants because they have got the cell wall. And when you look at this particular stage, they are behaving like fungus because the fruiting body is present. So for a botanist, they are plant. For a zoologist, they are animal. For a microbiologist, microbiologists are the scientists who are studying behind fungus. So for a microbiologist, they are fungus even. So I mentioned they are like fungus, they are like animals or they are like plants. That, all, that is what I've told you in the very first beginning that the boundaries of this kingdom is not well defined. When you talk about there are two types of slime molds, there are cellular slime mold, there are acellular slime mold. So next session I'll be talking about acellular slime molds.